What's up, Jersey Heads? It's your man, Big Slim, coming to you from the city. With brotherly love. Right in front of the Rocky statue. We're here on location. We're on location at the art museum, made famous by Rocky running the stairs. My fat ass will not be running any stairs, so you will not be seeing me gas. This fool wanted to go take the stairs first. Hell no. Not having it, Captain. So, Come on, Rock. You're a bum, Rock. What does mean Sorry, I speak Balboa too. Uh, so anyways, we're here on location. We took pictures with the famous Rocky statue, unveiled at Rocky 3, and uh, got a couple of pickups. And it gotta be Philly based. Got a couple of uh, jerseys that, uh, they're, they're Philly, they're, they're Philly, what you call it. So there'll be more coming. Uh, I'm gonna, my man is filming, my man, my man even he's filming. He's in my group, jerseys, picks, and lids. Uh, we'll be filming uh, probably a second round of this video at my at the at my loft where I got some other pickups, um, and uh, so we'll get to that when we get back to Maryland. But right now we're on location, so I'll go ahead and unveil my two pickups. They're Philly related. <laughs> Just picked this up off the of eBay pickup. It's the uh, 1988, 1988. Basically, the NFL swingman, Chris Carter. I don't like the swingman. I hate swingman jerseys, but I just basically had to get this because it's Chris Carter. It's an Eagles jersey, so there's the back. Everything's all single-stitched. Ain't nothing heat-pressed on it like it's supposed to be, well, with the exception of the Eagle logo. So, got that. Picked that up. And my famous Mighty Fan 78. Got him holding. And a jer here's a jersey that there's no chance I'm wearing today. Look at this. Dude, it, I just get hot looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Philly's bag. This jersey actually came from Citizens Bank, where we will be tomorrow. Tomorrow. We'll be tomorrow for the Phillies and the Marlins game at 1 o'clock. So here's the other peacock. Uh, peak here's the other peacock. Here's the other pickup I got. Size 56, 1921 pinstripe, Philadelphia Phillies. There goes the uh, there goes the embroidery. Not a specific player, just 1921. Nothing on the back. There were no uh, numbers in that era until 1929. Made famous by the Yankees. There's uh, the Philly logo. So, but uh, but yeah, I mean that'd be it. I'm rocking Reggie White. I had to <laughs> I had to borrow. My Chris Carter ended up being a little bit too big, so I'm gonna get that tailor or whatever. So I'm rocking a Reggie White that I actually I have the career run. And Mighty let me borrow his uh, his his version. He's trying to run. Got my uh, got my Oreo Oreo 89 flights on. Had to rock them. So so for my man Neiman, appreciate it, man. For no problem. For picture for Mighty Fan 78. And uh, like I said, we're here at it's the uh, Rocky. yeah we're right here at the Art Museum. <laughs> and I mean that that for real is the Rocky statue. So so we'll see you in the second part of slip picking. the Rocky steps. Try to. Slow yeah. roll up We're the gonna steps. labor <laughs> up those stairs. Demon shaking his head. <laughs> we'll make it up, man. I mean, it's a dream come true to actually to be able to come out here and check us out. Walked across the city of Philly to get here. So. It's for his birthday too. Yeah, so my birthday's in a couple days, birthday. so yeah. So see y'all in the second part of the video. Your man, Big Slim, BYG, and uh, we'll see you in the second part back in uh, my vault, SP64. See you in a couple seconds. All right, here we go, y'all. The famous Rocky stairs. I'm walking, trust me. We walking. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm gonna jog a little bit. I'm gonna jog a little bit. Here we go. Ah! Big Slim, I see you. I see you, Slim. And now I gotta slow down. Ah! Get my big ass. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. Running the rocky stairs. Yes, I'm winded. But I'm here, bruh. I'm here. Oh, I'm gassed. I made it. Hey yo, hey yo Adrian, I made it. I need a breath. Oh man. Daddy, I'm 
old town. Well, I made it. Whew. And of course, Yeah, where, where'd he go? I looked back and he was gone. He didn't come up. So Jersey Heads, we're back with the continuation of Slim Pickens, volume number 64. It's your man, Big Slim. Uh, back from Philly, fresh back from Philly, man. As you all just saw, I inserted a, uh, uh, the vid of me running the uh, Rocky Stairs in Philly. And uh, I'm still tired, so... <sighs> okay, now that's out of the way. Um, I'm going to show a few more pickup vids. Uh, sorry that the lighting was a little dark in Philly, uh, right there next to the Rocky statue. Um, uh, but uh, showed the 1921 Phillies jersey, uh, pinstripe, and then the uh, the replicanic or whatever you want to call it, the swingman, Chris Carter, 1988 Eagles. And um, so let's go ahead and get into it. There is uh, representing number uh, SP64. Um, uh, SP64, the uh, the Dave Wilcox. I'm not even sure what year this is. 1964, uh, Dave Wilcox, uh, 49ers, and uh, uh, and today's my birthday. Uh, I turned 43 today. It's actually just after midnight. So uh, I'm rocking the uh, shout out to Armando and all the Ace fans, Nick, uh, all the Ace fans. Um, figured I would wear number 43. To my knowledge, it's the only damn 43 that I have. So. It's the uh, 1989, 1989 Dennis I'm Not going to bring up Kurt Gibson. Sorry, Ace fans. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, my pickups real quick. Uh, some stuff I've already shown on Facebook. Uh, get into uh, these real quick. Recent pickup from the Mitchell Ness website. It is the 2005-2006 uh, Jason Williams white chocolate, hashtag white chocolate. NBA Finals, Jason Williams comes got the uh, NBA uh, uh, NBA um, Finals trophy on it. Uh, the newer the newer Mitchell Ness jock tag that they just started putting on jerseys on their stuff. So Jason Williams, and here is one that I am glad to have back in the vault. Actually, it's not even really technically a recoup. Because I had the gray version. Little story that comes with uh, my 92 uh, Daryl Strawberry here. 92 Daryl Strawberry. Brand new with tags. Does have some marks on it. Came off of eBay. Looks like it might be some storage marks. But if I uh, get it dry cleaned or get it cleaned up. Look brand new. Um, ironically, story behind. Um, I had the gray 92 Strawberry. Sorry guys, kind of late. Uh, the gray night in 2007, the last two jerseys that I made pickups before I thought I was going to get out of the game. Um, the last two pickups I made was the road gray, Daryl Strawberry, and, and then I picked up the 7980 Moses Malone Houston Rockets El Salvador run. And I picked those two up, and as soon as I picked those two up, I started selling my collection. Shout out to Throwback King, he knows a lot about that because I think he bought some of, he bought some of the stuff back when he still rocked 60s. And he's rocking 52s now. Shout out to you, brother. I saw the Lomas Brown that you had up today trying to get a smaller size. Good luck to you, brother. Um, so, yeah. So, this technically isn't even a recoup because this is the white one. So, it's the uh, 92 Daryl Strawberry. It is new with tags. Got, uh, it's got all the original tagging on it. Shout out to Peter Capolino if he actually watches this vid. The uh, 30th anniversary Dodgers patch on one sleeve. Nothing on the other. Uh, the name on the back, no name plate, 44, both double stitched, 44 in the front, single stitched, 
and of course the uh, iconic Dodger logo. So there is that. I'll show a couple more. Actually, I got one that a friend of mine, ironically, that has a little story too. Uh, here was an eBay pickup. I had to buy this damn thing a little bit bigger than I wanted to, but I, I, I got it. All my Dion's are right here. Like this whole section right here is my Dion collection. And this one, it was eluding me. I just decided to go ahead and grab it in a bigger size. But, uh, and it does fit kind of big, so uh, I'll, I'll look for a smaller one or whatever we're going to do with this damn thing. It is the, shout out to Ron, shout out to Seth, all the Cowboy fans in the group. Um, it is the uh, 95 Dion Cowboys double star. There's the jock tag double stars, and it's so damn big. There's the uh, 21. Ironically, when I first saw this, I thought it was double stitch. It's not. It's it's almost like, it's like the replica, like what the replicas are made of now. Sanders on a nameplate, also single stitch, and then like I said, these are this is a single stitch numbers. So everything is all single stitch. So is so is the stars. But, uh, but yeah, so this is the one Dion that's been kind of eluding me, uh, eluding me from my, uh, uh, collection. Oh, what am I doing? I'm about, to, I was about to hang the damn thing back up. All right. And, uh, I'll go ahead and open this one. Cause I want to say technically what I consider the best for last. What are we up to time wise? 540. Uh, that's it. Okay, good. Cause we were short in Philly. So I'm not going to get to talk a lot. My name is Mighty Fan. Woo. Sure is hot up here. Oh. Oh. Shout out to Neiman and Big Slim. It's his birthday. <laughs> Shout out to Mighty, man. Mighty got me a cake. I got a cake down there in the fridge. And Neiman got some cake, too. Yep. About to take care of that. All right, so we uh, so I picked this up from a friend, and I only picked... It's funny, as I can't even, I can't even say this fool's name. Uh, Shout out to Seth. He looked at it for me. I only got this because of the style and the fact that it's number 15, so it's almost like almost like Trell, like Latrell Sprewell. But I'm not even sure how to pronounce this fool's name. I don't want to say like a big Russian, like he's probably a big Russian or something like that. But I only picked this up, like, you know, shout out to Mighty again. He, uh, he, he told me, I think he, he told me how to pronounce his name. Don't even remember. But again, I picked the jersey up just based on what it is. It's a Warriors number 15, almost like Trell. You know, it looks like Trell. You know, I just, and the jersey just pops. I mean, these Warriors jerseys are just still my favorite. One of my, I mean, this is my second favorite Warriors jersey, probably behind the original, which is Chris Weber era, Tim Hardaway, Mitch Richmond, Chris Mullen, that batch. So, got that. And save the best for last, in my opinion. Shout out to Andrew Knoll, City of Winter. Shout out to Roberto. I almost had this damn thing, but I uh, was able to get it from uh, Knoll after all. It is the 6162 uh, Hawks, Lenny Wilkins. And of course, I didn't even do my homework because I don't think this is Atlanta. If I had to go out on a limb, I'd say this is probably St. Louis. I didn't do my homework before we did this here, so... So here it is, nothing on the back. Lenny, Lenny Wilkins, you know, my, my favorite jersey before, you know, the Sonics jersey that I have from, from, from Lenny. But, uh, but yeah, so this is, uh, got this from Andrew Knoll. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, brother. Hope you, uh, hope you check this out. And of course, you know, Andrew Knoll, City of Winners on eBay. So, but that's it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you, Neiman, for filming for me, brother. You're welcome. And again, it's uh, my birthday, so that was the reason I went with Eckersley. Your man, Big Slim. Appreciate it. Hope you all enjoy the video. SP64. And I'm out, y'all.